everybody, this is Graham, also known as the Collector 75, um, and welcome to uh, and one of my, another video, basically. Um, now then, um, I haven't actually done a video for quite some time. Um, I, I mean, I've, I've uploaded a few, but um, they were done well over two years ago. Some of those. Um, so I thought I'd just do a quick video just to say uh, why I haven't done nothing new lately. Um, the main reason is uh, back in last December um, I actually moved. Uh, me and my wife bought this place now. This is actually our bedroom. Um, and since then uh, what we've trying to do up the house and everything like that and it's just been I've just had no time and what with my son. Um, deciding whether he wants to sleep through the night or whatever. It's, it just becomes a little bit um, hard to do them. Plus um, it's the room as well. Uh, he's got his own room now, and so I can't really keep all my stuff in there. This place does come with a great loft, uh, but again, I just haven't had the time to go out there, sort it all out. It's a shame, really, um, because that is obviously when I moved, that was my plan, but I just had no time to do it. It's actually pissing me off quite a bit, actually. Um, so I'm going to start doing some more videos, but um, it's just one of those things that's hard at the moment. Uh, but I plan to do it. Once I've found the room somewhere, um, I shall do it. But there we go. Never mind. Um, anyway, I thought I'd just also do um, what I've been buying lately. Because I've been buying quite a bit, actually, considering that I bought a house and got a young son who just size wants to grow out of his clothes every two minutes uh, and wants everything under the sun. Um, but yeah, I've been still managing to buy, <laughs> buy some good stuff. Anyway, right, let me uh, just show you what I've been buying. Here we go. Uh, we'll move around here. Start on this one. Uh, these are some of the loose figures. I've got a ton more stuff up in the loft, actually, where I've been putting it up there. Uh, we'll start over here. This is my uh, Transformers Collector trading card collector game. Um, it's not too bad, actually. I mean, uh, it's probably not worth anything, especially the money that I paid for in the shops is buying them. It's pretty cool. It's a bit like Top Trumps, but I think you can play it slightly different. It does come with a rule, rule book. I think this, you can only get this in the UK. I'm not quite sure if this one was released anywhere else. Um, I believe Tops did do some collector cards for the US, but they're just like the usual sort of collector cards. But they're pretty good. Um, again, don't think they'd be worth anything. Uh, then we move around to some of these loose figures. What do I buy here? I've got a tri Generations. This is the tiny little Megatron, and I think he came with Chop Shop. Yeah. Um, that's actually pretty cool. I love the Chop Shop. Just got that just because I was buying some stuff off Kapow Toys, and I thought I might as well. Uh, then we've got Creo, because I love Creo. <laughs> Um, I've got this book, uh, it's sort of like, it does come with the um, little figure of Orion packs there. Um, and it's sort of like bios for the stuff, but they're absolute rubbish. Um, only, only worth getting if you really want the figure. Um, it's a shame because it doesn't really have anything else. Apart from the little Creo figures, it doesn't have show off the sets that they come with or anything, and that's a bit of a shame. Um, right, uh, what's this? Oh, I bought this AGM, a Horus Heresy starter deck. Um, Ah, I bought the latest series of the Creo blind bag figures. Um, I paid about £47 for these off eBay from Taiwan or somewhere. Uh, and then the other day I went up to Tesco's and they're in there. £2 each. Pissed me off because, well, what gets released over here is a bit hit and miss, really. Uh, right, so next. Generations Whirl. Pretty good figure, actually. I quite like it. It has its flaws, but I quite like it. Uh, then we've got some oversized Seacons, uh, G1 Seacons. Uh, thanks to Ben's Collectibles, actually. I saw these on on one of his videos, or he actually mentioned them. Um, so I went on Sir Toys, and it's actually pretty good, actually. They do some quite good stuff. I um, just wish I had some more money to buy a few bits off them. Um, I need some more G2 labels there to redo these up. And then I'm going to sell my old set that I have of these, because these are an oversized set of another KO. But they're pretty good. Got these off eBay about fifteen pounds each. These are over sort of double sized uh, two members of Leo Kaiser, recolored as well. Uh, again, want to get the rest of them. Doesn't come with the Breastful par Partners, but it does have his little helmet, which is pretty good. I'm running. I could get the rest. Uh, I bought a little Beast Cage for um, the cassettes. I think these are by KFC. Uh, not Kentucky Fried Chicken though. That always makes me laugh. Uh, I'm probably the only one. Um, and then we got the um, Art of War Rex Blaster. This is for Generations Grimlock. Um, once I find my Generations Grimlock, I think it's at my mum's house somewhere. Um, once I get the loft done here, I'll be transplanting everything from there to here. Could take me a few years, unfortunately. Uh, these are loads of um, little legend figures. I like the prime legend figures. I've been getting quite a lot of them, especially the air vehicles. I want to get the normal little vehicle. Never released over here. I did get the Ace vehicle. I saw that in the Entertainment the other day. I got that. Four quid. 
Um, what else have we got here? I've got a little uh, these little blasters for Generations War for Cybertron Ultra Magnus. Well, I think these are for Optimus Prime, but they're going to go on Ultra Magnus because they look more colours anyway. Got the other head for Generations Grimlock. Or is it the Fall of Cybertron Grimlock? Uh, this is a slightly oversized Generation 1 hot rod. Uh, yeah, not bad. I mean, the quality is a bit rubbish, but he's only slightly oversized, but still pretty good. Uh, this is another set I've got here. Uh, this is the oversized um, Legends. Oh my god, what are they called? Uh, Abominus. Um, almost just over basic size now. And um, when you think about the little Legends ones, they're only about that big. Um, these guys are double size over that. I mean, they were starting to release the deluxe sized versions of these. These are slightly smaller than that, but are only, they only released two. Whether they release the others, who knows. But I got them just in case, so it's only like 15 quid. And then we got, uh, oh, there, sorry, I'm out of breath there. Uh, Transformers Japanese Go, uh, Beast Hunters Shockwave. Pretty damn good figure, though the legs are slightly loose. Um, I got that very cheap off Amazon, I'm not quite sure. It was around 30 quid, Mark. I wouldn't pay more than 30 quid, I know that. Uh, then we got this. Uh, don't know what that is. Sorry, I um, yeah, this is my um, fans project, Diesel, or Motor Master. It's actually pretty good. Haven't transformed it, haven't had the chance to transform it because you want to start transforming these, you want a bit of time, and with a little boy running around trying to grab everything, it's just not feasible at the moment, which is a shame. Uh, then we got this. I originally wasn't going to get this, then I, was, then I wasn't, and then I saw T2RX6's video on this and decided to get this. This is the add-on kit for... Um, Year of the Snake Omega Supreme. Um, I still haven't actually got that one out of the box yet, and so it's pointless getting this one out of the box, but I will do it one day. And we'll do a video on all these. Uh, what we've got over here, these are the Mastermind Creations Feral Rex. I've got Leo Ducks, or Razor Claw, and um, Headstrong. But um, I've got the other two on the way. Uh, Talon's just been released, so uh, I'll be picking up on that one. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so we've got the other two for that, and the other one, like him, I can't remember his name now, Tantrum. Uh, I did get this the other day, this is Scoria, damn good figure, I've already pre-ordered Swoop. Um, I want to get the others, but it's finding the money at the minute, I'm running out of money, pretty drastically. Um, this fella, I've got Masterpiece Sound Blaster, I thought I had to really, because I love Sound Blaster, I love Soundwave. That rat bat figure is amazing, though it does have why they couldn't have done something with the wings. You can see there where you've got the cassette parts showing, they could have just turned them around. Something I think that was a bit lazy. Uh, other than that, very damn good figure. And come around here, <clears throat> they get mirrored bloody drawers, or whatever they're called, bloody chest of drawers. Uh, they're expensive. Uh, I did pick up two more of these. These were on offer in the Big Bad Toy Store, about $20 each or $30, I can't remember what now, but in English money it's only like 20 quid. So I've got a couple of them. Did get charged by Billy Customs, that is a bit of a pain in the ass. And I did get the Generations uh, Dinobot Slug and Scorn, I want to get the others, but I haven't seen them over here yet. Uh, there is Masterpiece Prowl, which I've got. I've got the other two somewhere in here. I couldn't find them just to do this video. But I've got a lot of, I've bought loads of other stuff. I bought the Dark Side, oh, Dark Energon, Optimus Prime, Megatron, the four set or five set they did for Transformers Prime. Got them because they were cheap on Big Bad Toy Store. Very cheap, in fact. Um, I got the other three. Oh, what are they called? The uh, Seekers. Uh, they've gone out of my head for the life of me. The triangular shape on the Tetra Squadron. I've got the other three because they were, well, they went down about $20. So I've got them. Uh, they're up in the loft somewhere. Again, I'd love to do a review, finding the time to do it. I also love to do my comics reviews again, but it's, again, finding the room but, and the um, time. Yeah, uh, there is a few other things I've got up in the loft auction sure I'd love to get out. Um, I've got a double, giant double sized defense saw. Um, it's massive, it's bigger than the um, G2. Uh, Combaticons that I got ages ago. Uh, yeah, it actually comes with two extra members that form the feet. Actually pretty good. I'd love to do a video on that. Um, it doesn't come with no weapons, but it does come with all the parts to make him. But I'm going to uh, make, make go on Shapeways when I've got a bit of money and just buy loads of weird guns that they've got on there and just deck them out like you would have seen in Generation 2 comics. Um, yeah, so when I've got the time, we'll do that. Um, yes. 
So anyway, so this has been Graham, the Collector 75. I will be back with a new review sometime. Can't say when, but I will. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.